You know, I've been following the Bitcoin story very closely, and this certainly is a is a new and interesting development. I, I do think that the significance is a little bit overplayed uh, because it's not like El Salvador has dropped the U.S. dollar as its peg, right? It's not like it switched from dollars as its currency peg to Bitcoin. Uh, it still has the dollar and people can decide to be paid in dollars or pay in dollars. Um, so, so this is a voluntary thing, essentially. But it is, uh, as you mentioned, you know, the first real test of Bitcoin as a medium of exchange, uh, as opposed to a store of value. And and this is one of the one of the issues with Bitcoin is that it's it's its value proposition is that it's scarce. Of course, uh, it has a very powerful network as well. But it's decentralized. It's proof of work, and by definition. That makes it less scalable than, for instance, an Ethereum. Um, and so this is a real test in, in terms of seeing maybe if there's a level to play here, whether it's Strike or something else. Uh, so it's an interesting chapter in the history of Bitcoin as a as what I think of it as an adolescent coming of age, much like gold was back in this in the 1970s. Although it's in reverse because gold went from being money to being an asset class in the 70s, and Bitcoin is kind of going from being class to also being a currency or being money and so we'll yeah. we'll see how it, how it uh, unfolds but um, I, I think the the, the the systemic significance uh, mm. is maybe a little hyped up